Hi folks, welcome back to Broken Claw Mountain Works. So today we're going to go over our log furniture uh, or timber furniture and it's really pretty simple. I'm not going to go over the details of how to make every kind of piece of furniture. Really it's just a matter of being able to make that mortise and tenon joint. And so we got this great product from uh, Lumberjack Tools. It's kind of like a big pencil sharpener and uh, you use this for that tenon side and you use a, a Forstner bit for that mortise side and you end up with these great joints. Uh, kind of like this and so whatever your imagination uh, dictates you can make uh, whatever furniture you want and, and the kiddo wanted a, a loft bed and so we made this but uh, the sky's the limit uh, simple things like stools or loft beds or uh, you know tables or headboards and, and, and footboards for for a regular bed really whatever it is that you want um, as long as you you got the right tools, you can make that mortise and tenon and, and therefore make whatever furniture you want. So let's go look at how we make those joints. Folks, when you get your kit from Lumberjack Tools, it'll come with, if you order the right kit, it'll come with three tenon bits, uh, an inch bit, an inch and a half bit, and a two inch bit. And it'll also come with a corresponding Forstner bit now an important an important point about this is that uh, you should have a, a half inch drill uh, versus just a you know a standard standard drill like like my porter cable here. You you want a you want a big powerful half inch drill because um, as you're taking down the end of of a log, you really need a lot of power uh, in order to to make that cut. In addition to each of the bits, it'll come with a blade and a shim for each side, screws for each side, uh, and an Allen key. And so getting that blade on is real simple. You just got uh, an opening on one side and an opening on the corresponding side. Take that shim and you just place it on like so you take your blade bevel down like that place that on like so the reason you put that shim on is so you don't have such an aggressive cut um, and you'll have a, a nice smoother finish on that tenon and we'll put these screws right in here And then what's important on spacing is we don't want this too far out or too far in. And so if we take a, a piece of cardboard, in fact, the cardboard box that the, the kit comes in is the perfect depth. We'll just hold that there like that inside that groove and that'll, and we'll push this blade right up to it and that'll create the perfect depth for our blade. So we get a nice smooth, not too aggressive cut on that tenon. You'll do the same thing to the corresponding side and you'll end up with something like that. Careful on those blades, they're pretty sharp. All right, folks, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our tenon. We've got a nice uh, hard piece of aspen, as hard as aspen can be anyway. Uh, this is about three inches in diameter, and I've got my two inch tenon bit already on my drill. And this is real simple. We're just gonna place this over our log. I'm gonna hold on real tight, and uh, we're gonna start spinning. So we got about an inch of depth on that tenon right there. Some of these bits will come with several holes in here that you can run a bolt through and create a stop for depth, right? This one doesn't happen to have that, and so we're just going to go trial and error here. All right, so that's not bad. I've got about an inch and a half tenon uh, right there. And then the next thing we're going to do is get our Forstner bit, and we're going to create our mortise in another log. 
All right, folks, so we've got our two inch Forstner bit back on our drill and we've got our log that we're gonna put our mortise in. Let's get our gloves on. I like to, I like to put a rag in my vise so I don't chew up the wood I'm working on. I'm just gonna get this right in the center of that log. Okay, let's check our depth. Good. Good. Now what I like to do to make this a real secure joint, let's get a little bit of glue right on that tenon. Just get that all around. we go. We'll get that in there and we'll just tap it in place. Let's give it one more tap. Now, once that glue dries, that's going to be a super secure joint but we can do one more thing to make it even better. Take a nice three and a half inch screw in this case. You can use a different size screw if you have a smaller mortise and tenon. And we'll just go right here in this, in this crease and we'll go not so much 45 degrees, a little bit, a little bit down. And we'll start screwing this in. It'll go right through that tenon. It'll go through the tenon and into the wood. And there's no way that's coming out now. So we've got that basic mortise and tenon joint that you can use for just about every single joint in your log furniture. That tenon bit from Lumberjack Tools is a fantastic product. I, I highly recommend it.